Hello, and welcome to the winter edition of Tech Monthly. I am Edward Medino. And I'm Scott Cadell. We hope you had a nice holiday break. Now it's time to start the new year strong. A big event that occurred early in the month was the One Act Festival. Let's go to Nazir, who attended and reported on these great performances. Hey, it's Nazir Gadsden coming at you live, all the way from the Black Box Theater for the One Act Play with the Performing Arts students. The One Act is a two-day event filled with different plays, such as comedy, mystery, and drama. Let's take a look inside. So basically, the play is about a husband and a wife. They had just got married. Um, they're moving out of their house, moving into a new house. And basically, the set is uh, set into two. So there's a, like a parallel universe, like a Victorian time. So basically, like in the olden times. And then there's a newer type of modern um, time of view. And basically, what happens is um, Demi, which is the wife, she finds a suicide letter. And she gets all these thoughts running through her mind. And she ends up finding the letter, and she investigates more into it. So basically everything she reads on the letter is happening on the other side of stage. And um, basically what's going on is there's like a parallel universe that's going on where it's their story on what had happened in the past, which is like happening now. And it's just a crazy adventure. It's just, you know, them in another parallel universe. It's like really cool, really mind blowing. We basically made the Victorian dresses and um, my co-director Brandon Corrado, his mother, um, you know, took the measurements. So it was a bit of a hard, um, bump there but you know we got through it we took measurements there was some things that happened with the costumes that we you know had to fix up but other than that everything pretty much went smoothly well when we get cast we have like the whole summer to work on lines and then starting in the fall we start like blocking we start doing everything preparing for the show so I looked at my script a couple times in the summer but it was definitely in September where I had to like sit down and put a lot of time in it because my character did have a lot of lines and I needed to make sure that they were down before we started anything else in the process. Okay, so Broken is basically about three women. They enter an old abandoned warehouse where apparently someone has told them that they have to meet. They all think it was a casting director or something like that, but actually it was the mother's son. I portray the mother. And her son has come to find out who framed him for committing a murder. So they all are going back and forth, arguing, things like that, trying to figure out who committed the murder. And eventually, they discover that the son, who they believed had committed suicide, is actually alive, and that he's coming back to kill them all. So the mother is actually behind all of it. She masterminded the entire plan with the son. And so they come back, and then the son comes at the end, and there's only one person left, the ex-wife. The person who had actually killed the woman was the mistress of the husband, which they find out later on in the play. And it's basically just a whole big plan to figure out who killed the woman. Alex? Alex, are you there? Alex? <laughs> so basically, the mother is cruel, she's conniving, and she's really rich. And that's some, that was a character that I had previously portrayed. I had played someone who was necessarily a mean and cruel person. So getting into that mindset wasn't necessarily hard for me. But seeing as how I'm kind of like a nice person, it's kind of hard to be someone completely different than what you are. But I would pay attention to little things that she did, like little side comments she'd make or things like that. And I guess it kind of made it easier for me. So I think my favorite part was more of um, getting everyone together, you know, kind of learning each other's names, learning, you know, where we're from, just kind of um, communication and working with each other and, you know, building up the stamina to present and go out there and do what we have to do, teamwork. My favorite part of the show actually didn't happen during the show, it happened after, like our last performance, and our directors, like, they congratulated us, and we all said, like, how much this meant to us, and then they gave us, like, some nice gifts and stuff, and it was just really nice because it was, it was good to know that all that hard work finally paid off, and, like, the audience loved it, everyone around us really loved it, and it was really a nice time. The One Act was a success. A big thank you to the performing arts students, directors, and teachers. From PCTI, I am Nazir Gadsden, and I am out. Back to you. Another charitable event PCTI had this month was the food drive organized by the Student Council, Interact Club. Participating homerooms put a box in their room, and the homerooms with the most items won a free hot breakfast. Here's Melanie with more about the food drive. 
Hi, I'm Melanie Herrera, and today I'm at the PCTI Food Drive, where students of the Dance Club and Interactive Studio are collecting food. Let's see what they have. Well, today the Student Council Interact Club um, had a school-wide food drive where homerooms had a food drive box that they collected. And as you can see behind us, the um, school community really reached out and donated for us to donate to Echo Kumak Food Bank. How does it make you feel to do this? I'll tell you, it's a great feeling to know that you're helping people in need, people who don't have what you might have, and it just feels good to be a part of it all. So basically we're going around campus collecting different food items that the students have donated and as you can see behind me we're put, placing them all in one place so that we can um, take it to, to an organization in Patterson. It makes me feel happy that I know I can help um, in my community in some way. So what we're doing here today is the food drive. We're collecting camp cans and other unperishable foods for families in need and I will donate all these to our local charities. I think it makes me feel that, it makes me feel warm inside that I'm actually helping out people that are in need and I can give back to the community, especially during this time of the year. Wow, it really looks like the PCTI community really participates in giving. Have a blessed holiday, everyone. Happy holidays from PCTI. The PCTI dance program also held its very own food drive this December. It's amazing to see how much our school gives back to the community. Between both food drives, PCTI collected and donated more than 4,000 pounds of food. What an amazing contribution to a great cause. And thank you to all the staff and students who participated. Another event that happened in December was the National Honor Society induction ceremony. Every year students who excel in their studies get recognized and are invited to the Honor Society. Congratulations to all of this year's inductees. December 7th is nationally reserved as a day to remember the lives of those lost and the bombings that took place in Pearl Harbor. PCTI held its annual remembrance service that day, and we had Aiden take a look at this touching ceremony. Hi guys, Luke Fogel here reporting to you at PCTI for the Pearl Harbor Assembly. Today, uh, we will be commemorating the lives lost, unfortunately, during the Pearl Harbor attacks, as well as remembering the history behind Pearl Harbor. The attack lasted 90 minutes. When it was over, nearly 2,400 Americans were dead and more than 1,100 wounded. The Japanese raid on Pearl Harbor was one of the most defining moments in American history. In addition to marking our nation's official entry into World War II, it remains to be the ultimate symbol of foreign treachery. To the Congress of the United States, yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. December 7, 2018 commemorates the 77th anniversary of the surprise Japanese attack on the U.S. naval base at Pearl Harbor, Oahu, Hawaii. At battle's end, 2,403 military and civilian personnel died. More than 1,000 were wounded and 18 ships were lost. On December 6, 1941, Arizona took a full load of fuel, nearly 1.5 million gallons, in preparation for its scheduled trip to the mainland later that month. The next day, much of it fed the explosion and the fires that destroyed the ship following its attack by Japanese bombers. His son, Raymond Harry, pieced together what happened in Pearl Harbor by asking questions to his father over 50 years. Harry was trying to get ammunition when a large bomb detonated, igniting fuel and powder magazines. Most of the bow was instantly separated and the ship was listed out of the water. Now, I'd like to introduce members of the dance shop as they perform a morning dance to Celine Dion's A Song For You.
PCTI always puts on some truly astounding memorial assemblies, and this one was no exception. Staying in the auditorium, we now have Cameron with the Winter Dance Program. The PCTI Dance Ensemble went back to Broadway on December 13th and 14th. The annual winter concert this year featured music performed by the instrumental and vocal programs here at Tech and had posters created by the Advertising Art and Design Program. The concert included dances from the Broadway shows such as Aladdin, Hamilton, Waitress, and Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Congratulations to everyone who took part in this year's winter concert. It was amazing. Wow, what an amazing program. The school's dance program never disappoints. Now let's go take a look at the holiday program with Stephanie. Students in the theater shop put on a performance of the Polar Express this year at the holiday program. They had help from the vocal shop, the sound chasers, and the instrumental shop to put on a performance of a lifetime. Oh, the kids choose the Polar Express, and it was a fantastic choice. They want to sing, and they want to dance, and they choreographed it themselves. Yes, I think it's a great challenge because we teach theater and we teach drama. I think that they, we want them to be triple threats, so we want them to sing, dance, and act. It was a great challenge and they rose to it. They prepared, we had two students, Shay Malone and Marissa D'Amico, and I think uh, Kate uh, Bailey. They choreographed the show and they taught the other students piece by piece for about three or four weeks. Uh, I gotta tell you, I love the Junior Senior uh, Polar Express. They were great. And to watch them choreograph it and learn from the beginning to end, it was magnificent. I love the whole thing. My vocal range is tenor. That's the only part I can sing. I can't go higher or lower. <laughs> um, I know the Sound Chasers performed Mary Did You Know, so that's my song. Um, my shop, personally, we performed um, we performed the God Rest Man Gentleman. We performed um, there's something called Fajanga, which is famous in Puerto Rico. Because Christmas is a thing, but our King's Day is bigger. So we do this thing, Puerto Ricans, where they get all together, they play instruments, and sing a combination of multiple songs. And that's what we do. Um, definitely the Pajanda, and out of the Pajanda, since it was multiple songs, my favorite was. Um, <laughs> that's hard. <laughs> because they're all my favorite, but probably um, Esa Trulla um, and um, Mi Burrito Sabato. It was an amazing holiday program. A big thanks to all the performing art shops and all other participants. I hope you have a happy holidays and a good break. From PCI, I'm Brianna Fier. Now back to you. December was a very giving month in terms of action. To start the Leap Interact Club held its annual toy drive. The drive is to help give presents to children in need, giving them joy for the holidays. In total, PCTI collected 849 toys. Let's go to Mike to film this extremely given event. Hello to everyone at the studio. Just a week before Christmas, PCTI had their 2019 Toy Drive fundraiser. The Toy Drive was a contest between the underclassmen, which were the freshmen and sophomores, and the upperclassmen, which were the juniors and seniors. There were a lot of different toys, like science kits, dolls, and nerf guns. Also, there weren't just toys donated, there were a lot of clothes. Around 700 toys and clothes were brought in for the fundraiser, which was amazing. Christmas is an important day for families to share and give gifts and it would be great for everyone to enjoy getting things. The 2019 PCTI toy drive ended up being a huge success. So for the toy drive, it was two groups, the upperclassmen and the underclassmen. So the sophomores and the freshmen were teamed up and the juniors and the seniors and whoever donated the most toys would win a spirit day. 
like being involved in this event because it was really nice to see the pen fill up with toys as we got more donations, knowing that the kids who would get them would be really happy to get them. I think some of the toys that kids would be excited about were toys like science kits where you could build your own robots and grow your own crystals because those are toys that would be interesting to use and you don't really see that much. The toys are going to the Catholic Charities of Patterson. I feel the kids are going to be very excited to see these toys that they're going to get because they don't have the things, the same things that we do and I think it's going to really make them happy and like it's going to be a Christmas miracle for them. Uh, the, the type of, we got about 700 toys for kids of any age and it's basically more like uh, clothes, like hats, gloves. We also got dolls for your girls and Nerf guns to name a few and the toys are going to, um, they're going to Father English. So this club, we just uh, do a lot of charity work to help our community and make it better and make uh, the community prosper and the help those are that, that are in need. Wow, one eventful winner. That's all for today. I'm Scott. And I'm Edward. And remember, it's not just you, it's PCT, PCT and I. I.